Hi, I am Dr. Swapna Mishra, Director OBGY and uh, Robotic Surgery at Fortis Hospital Mohali. And today we are going to discuss on topic regarding endometriosis. So on this International Women's Day, the subject which is very close to my heart is the pain which women have to suffer because of endometriosis. Endometriosis is a condition with which young women suffer. So what is endometriosis actually? It is the implantation of the endometrial tissue which is lining the uterus to a place which is outside the uterus. So it can get implanted in the ovaries, it can get implanted in the tubes, it can get implanted in the outer wall of the uterus, intestine and the entire abdominal cavity. So what these women suffer from? So they have very, very, very painful periods. They might have pain throughout their menstrual cycle. They might need injectables, painkillers during their menstrual cycle. They might have a problem with fertility because the tubes might get blocked because of this. They might have big ovarian cyst and the main problem is they might have severe dyspareunia. That means painful intercourse. And this is something which troubles usually younger women. Endometriosis, the symptoms show usually after the menstruation starts. So by the age of 18 to 20 years is the symptom start. And the worst part is that symptom worsen as the person ages and the symptoms vanish at the age of 50 years. So what we should do as a clinician? So what are the medical management? What can be done to prevent endometriosis? Number one is a lifestyle. People who are very, very active in their lifestyle, they have good amount of exercise and they take care of the diet, usually suffer less from the symptoms of endometriosis. But this is a condition which is not in your hand. This is a genetic condition. You're born with endometriosis. So this will show up in you at some phases of life. So if the symptoms are not very uh, worse, we can usually manage with painkillers. We can go with certain hormonal therapy to suppress the ovary and suppress these endometrial glands which are growing outside the uterus and prevent the symptoms from recurring again and again. So there are a lot of patients who benefit from the medical management, a lot of patients who can be managed with medicine only because of endometriosis. So a lot of painkillers help, a lot of hormonal therapy help, so a lot of contraceptive pills, so young women with endometriosis who's not planning to get married, who's not having very severe symptoms, we can even put the patient on contraceptive pills and that works very well. What happens in severe case? Suppose a person is infertile or the serpent person has got bilateral ovarian cyst or the person has got blocked tubes. So what do we do? So there the option of surgery comes. Almost like 15 years back, the only option of surgery was an open surgery where we would make a big cut and remove the endometriotic tissues, remove the cysts from the ovaries, separate the uterus from the intestinal structures and do the corrective surgery. Then, the, then almost like 10 years back, we started doing laparoscopic surgery and now the advancement is towards the robotic surgery. So what we can do now is that we can provide a painless, almost painless kind of a relief to a patient with endometriosis through surgery. So only, uh, only thing what I want to tell everyone is that this is something which is treatable, correctable. So if you've got symptoms of severe dysmenorrhea, painful, very painful periods or dyspareunia or you've got pain throughout your menstrual cycle, you get pain all over uh, all days of menstrual cycle or even after having your menstrual cycle the pain persists get yourself investigated for, for endometriosis it's not that we will always do surgery in you we have got a lot of medical management which can be tackled with so we can do surgery in uh, in those cases which are not responding to medical management and you've got an option of open surgery a laparoscopic surgery and now the latest technique is what you call as a robotic surgery thank you